I'm back with another how-to. Let's create a fun, romantic tablescape with vintage items. Creating a tablescape is like creating a work of art. You start with this blank canvas and you get to decide what elements, what textures, what colors you want to include. So for today's project, I decided I wanted to do a fully vintage tablescape, everything found on Etsy. Only thing that's not vintage are these candles and the plants. But it was so fun to just search Etsy, there's so many items, and just use the vintage filter, type in a couple things, and curate this entire thing that I now have in real life. I'm gonna walk you through all the items, why I think they go together, and how I build a beautiful tablescape. So the first thing I found was this super fun plaid sheer vintage tablecloth. I like that it's sheer to add for a bit of romance. And I actually built the color scheme of this tablescape off of this one piece, so I'll show you how I did that. So let's add the tablecloth. It's actually more of a table runner on this table since it's long, but I like it. Now this might be different from how most people build a tablescape, but I actually like to add the plates next because it gives me a sense of where all the pieces are gonna go. So I got these really pretty organic looking plates. I knew I was gonna be doing a lot of color, so I wanted to keep these as a neutral. So we have the white and then they have this tannish yellowish color border that I really like, which I also played off of in some other pieces. So add the plates. Now I'm gonna add glasses. So I really love these mustard colored vintage goblets. And I feel that the color plays really well off the border of the plates. So I'm just gonna add one for you, one for you. Let's do another glass. So I do appreciate symmetry very much, but I also really appreciate asymmetry. So I love the idea of going a little bit different with the other two glasses. So one of the settings gets this big plum colored goblet right here and then the other one gets a little pink one with some cute line detail and we can move the placement around as we go but this is just to get a sense of where everything will be I really leaned into glass especially colored glass for this because I feel like it's such a fun way to get color in without feeling childish, you know? The fact that it's glass, that you can see through it, it just feels really upscale and adult, but then it's still really fun with the color. Now, you'll notice that these are the first pink and purple tones that I'm bringing in. You don't see them in anything else, but I wanted to add some more dimension and not just keep it in this blue, green, yellow. I wanted to go colorful, so that's why I have these two. And I love that they're not the same color. They work well together, but they're not exactly the same. Now, candles are a staple in any tablescape, especially a romantic tablescape. So I wanted to stick with this glass look we have going, but I thought clear was a really nice way to let the space breathe and let the other colors shine. I have a couple heights, and varying height is really key to a beautiful dynamic tablescape. You don't want everything to feel all one height, so having varying heights and depths really just adds a new dimension to the space. Let's start with doing one over here, and I'm gonna move the glasses out of the way. Oh wait, no. Put the tall one here, and then a tall and a short one on the other side. Again, with this organic feeling. So I'm not mathematically placing anything. I'm more artfully placing things in a strategic way. So I want to make sure there's balance. So I put one candle on the side with the bigger glass and two candles on the side with the smaller glass. So that way it kind of evens out how much you're getting from each side of the table. And now for the candles. There are the most gorgeous colored handmade candles on Etsy. Like, oh! Honestly, it was a bit of a struggle for me to determine exactly what colors I wanted to use, but ultimately, I landed on this light pink and then sage green. So I felt that the green, the sage green pulls from the tablecloth and then the light pink is a nod to the pink and purple glasses. So the way I'm gonna do it is put the pink on the side of the purple glass, balance, right here, and the two greens on this side. Now you see with the differences in the height of the candles and the glasses, it just feels so good. Now we're gonna add some greens. So I have these cuttings and I'm just gonna place them through the center of the table. It's fun to just play around and see what works where, mixing things around if it doesn't work. This might be controversial, but I even like having the leaves touch the candles and like a little bit of your plate. You know, not mixing with your food, but just the edge. And this is when this, the tablescape really starts to take shape. So you can just move things around and see what works. Next, we need cutlery. So I love this vintage set that I found. It's brass colored, so I feel the brass plays a little bit off of the mustard and the edge of the plates. 
And then we don't have any other black here at all, but I do love the black handles because I feel it helps to anchor down the color palette. So we will just place where they need to go. I always have to go F-O-R-K-L-E-F-T. That's the tip. <laughs> if you never heard this, fork has four letters, so it goes on the left, which has four letters. Spoon and knife, five letters on the right, R-I-G-H-T. You know we need some cloth napkins, gotta keep it classy. So these are a tealish aqua blue that work well with the tablecloth, the candles. I think you really could pull from any color for the napkins. A mustard would have worked well, a dusty pink would have looked nice, but I'm going with aqua. So, to make it even classier, we have napkin rings. So these look like a clear glass, they're actually an acrylic. It's like an etched acrylic, so they look really fancy and reflect a lot of light, very pretty. So I'm just going to do a quick fold. Not going for perfection here, just, you know, slide it through. And there you go. Beautiful. And then the final piece, you need some fresh blooms. I need some fresh blooms. My little local flower stand had two types of spray roses that I think work well. We could do yellow or we could do pink. Yellow is more of a bright, springy feel, but for this I think I want to do pink. This specific shade of pink makes the whole thing just feel a little bit more romantic. I love the idea of just snipping off the flowers and just finding places on the table to place them. Again, there's no formula to this, it's just whatever feels right. And then I cut some with a little piece of the stem, so we can also just place that somewhere. I don't know. And maybe it's in their glass. I like that. Some people might get grossed out if they see a flower in their glass, but I think it's cute. And there it is, a colorful, romantic table made almost entirely of vintage pieces. We'll link all the Etsy sellers below, as well as some similar items, because a lot of these are one of a kind. Please make sure you like this video if you liked it. If you like how-to content, home decor, supporting small businesses, vintage, this is the place for you. So give us a little subscribe, and I'll see you next time.